Al Adab al Mufrid, The Book of Behavior with People. Chapter on When a Man Rises in an Assembly to Give His Place to Someone That Person Should Not Accept. Ibn Umar said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, forbade anyone making a man rise from an assembly so he could sit in his place. When a man rose from his seat for Ibn Umar, he would not sit in it. Chapter on The Trust Anas said, I served the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, one day. When I thought that I had finished serving him, I said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, is having a midday rest. So I left him and there were some children playing. I stood looking at them and their game. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came out and came up to them and greeted them. Then he called me and sent me for something he needed. He remained in the shade until I came to him. I was late for my mother and she asked, What delayed you? I said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, asked me to get something he needed. She said, What was it? I said, It is a secret of the Prophet, peace be upon him. She said, Keep the secret of the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him. I have not told anyone that secret. If I had told it, I would have told it to you. Chapter on when he turned round, he did so fully. Sayyid bin al-Musayyib said, Abu Huraira described the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, with the words, He was of medium height, but nearer to being tall. He was very white with a black beard and good front teeth. He had long eyelashes. He was very broad between the shoulders and had full cheeks. He walked on his entire feet, but they did not have a hollow. He turned towards people fully or turned his back fully. I have not seen anyone like him before or since. Chapter on when a man is sent to another man for some reason and he does not tell him what it is. Aslam said, Omar said to me, if I send you to a man to find out something, do not tell him why I sent you to him. If you do, Satan will prepare a lie for him in that. Chapter on should one ask, where have you come from? Mujahid said, it is disliked for a man to look sharply at his brother or to follow him with his glance when he leaves him or to ask him, where have you come from and where are you going? Malik bin Zubad said, we passed by Abu Dhar at Ar-Rabadha. He said, where have you come from? We said, Mecca or from the ancient house. He said, is this all you went for? We said, yes. He said, and was there any other involvement in worldly business with it? We replied, no. He said, then resume your actions anew. Footnote, then resume your actions anew, that Allah has forgiven all your sins and you can resume your life anew. Chapter on one who listens to people's conversation when they do not wish it. Ibn Abbas said, the Prophet peace be upon him said, whoever makes an image will have to blow life into it and he will be punished as he will not be able to breathe life into it. Whoever claims to have seen a vision in a dream will have to string two beads of barley together and he will be punished because he will not be able to string them together. Whoever listens to people's conversation when they move away from him will have molten lead poured into his ears. Chapter on Sitting on a Raised Seat al uryan bin al hatham said, My father came to Muawiyah when I was a boy. When he reached him, Muawiyah said, Welcome, welcome. A man was sitting with Muawiyah on the raised seat who said, Amir al-Mu'mineen, who is this you are welcoming? He said, This is the noblest of the people of the East, al hatham bin al Aswad." My father asked, Who is this? They said, This is Abdullah bin Amr bin al-As. My father said to him, Abu so-and-so, From where will the Dajjal emerge? He said, I have not seen the people of any land who so readily ask about what is far off and leave out what is near at hand than the people in the land you are from. Then he said, He will emerge from the land of Iraq with the trees and palm trees. Abu al-Aliya said, I sat with Ibn Abbas on an elevated seat. Abu Jamra said, I used to sit with Ibn Abbas. He would make me sit on his seat. He said to me, Stay with me so that I can allot you a portion of my property. I stayed with him for two months. Khalid bin Dinar Abu Khalda said, I heard Anas bin Malik while he was with Al-Hakam, the Amir of Basra, on a seat. He said, When it was hot, the Prophet, peace be upon him, would delay the Zohar prayer until our cooler time of the day. When it was cold, he made the prayer early. Anas bin Malik said, I came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, while he was on a seat with a band woven on it. There was a pillow under his head made of skin stuffed with palm fiber. There was a cloth between his skin and the seat. Omar visited him and wept. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, What has made you weep, Omar? He said, By Allah, Messenger of Allah, I am only weeping since I know that you are more noble with Allah than Khusros and Caesar and they live in worldly comfort while you, Messenger of Allah, are in the place I see. 
The Prophet peace be upon him said, Aren't you content, Umar, that they have this world and we have the hereafter? Umar said, Yes, Messenger of Allah. The Prophet said, That is the way it is. Abu Rifa al-Adawi said, I came to the Prophet peace be upon him while he was speaking. I said, Messenger, a strange man has come to ask about his religion, deen. He does not know what his religion, deen, is. He turned to me and stopped speaking. He was brought a chair which I think had iron legs. Humad said, I think that it was black wood resembling iron and sat down on it. He began to teach me what Allah had taught him. Then he finished his speech. Musa bin Dehkan said, I saw Ibn Umar sitting on a bridal seat wearing a red striped garment. From his father from Imran bin Muslim who said, I saw Anna sitting on a bed placing one foot on the other. Chapter on, when one sees people conversing confidentially, he should not enter where they are. Sayyid al-Makburi said, I passed by Ibn Umar. He was conversing with a man. I stood by them and he struck me on the chest and said, When you find two men conversing, do not go up to them nor sit with them until they give you permission. I said, May Allah correct you, Abu Abdurrahman. I only wish to hear something good from both of you. Ibn Abbas said whoever listens to people's conversations when they do not want him to will have molten lead poured into his ears. Whoever lies about a dream will be obliged to string a barley bead. Chapter on Two Should Not Converse to the Exclusion of a Third Abdullah bin Umar said, the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, when there are three people, two should not converse together to the exclusion of the third. Abdullah bin Umar said, the Prophet peace be upon him said, when there are three people, Two should not converse together to the exclusion of the third for that would grieve him. Chapter on when there are four people. Ibn Umar said if there are four then it will not harm him. Abdullah said the Prophet peace be upon him said two should not converse to the exclusion of another until they are mixing with many people since that would grieve him, the excluded person. Ibn Umar said when there are four there is no harm. Chapter on when a man sits with another man, he should ask his permission to leave. Abu Burda bin Abi Musa said, I sat with Abdullah bin Salam. He said, You have sat down with us, but now it is time for us to leave. I said, As you wish. He got up and I followed him to the door. Chapter on Do not sit in the edge of the sunlight. Gas said, My father narrated that he came while the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him was speaking. He stood in the sun and the Prophet commanded him to move to the shade. 